Hey, what's going on guys? So, Fong VLG, back at it again with another YouTube video. Today's a very interesting one though, because we're actually gonna head over to Anthony's and wrap the Type R. But before we do, I did want to keep you guys updated with the SI and everything that's going on. We haven't posted in a few days, and that's mainly because of the holidays. You know, I hope you guys had a great Thanksgiving with your family and everything. But I did want to keep you guys updated with the situation on this. Obviously, the last video we said that we fixed the issue, and I don't want to say that we didn't fix it. We did fix a issue, but it wasn't the issue, if that makes sense. So to keep you guys kind of understanding, um, the car still shuts off when we do a pull, which is the same issue we had before. And I'm sure the wastegate was definitely an attestant to that, but it definitely wasn't the full issue. Uh, the issue that we've kind of diagnosed and basically figured out at this point is it's something electrical. And so it's either the MAF housing, something uh, with the wires, or, um, one could be snipped, or they're getting pulled whenever I do a pull, because it only occurs when I do a pull. Like the car actually just drives completely fine. Like we're gonna still drive this to Anthony's uh, later today to go wrap the car. And as long as I don't do a pull, the car doesn't trip out. The ECU just starts to trip out only when I do a pull. And again, it's just, it's something minor and electrical in that field. And this could have happened over time from uh, driving it and just depending on how things are connected and wired in or from, you know, cleaning the engine bay. I mean, there's so many things that could have occurred from this happening that I, I don't, don't know how to explain it. So I don't know. Uh, a few things that I'm going to try and test out later is to clean the intake filter because that could be an issue too. Obviously, it's high circuit or intake codes that I'm getting. So it's either that, replace the MAF, or just check all the wiring. And it sucks to check all the wiring because I have to check everything and I hate when it's an electrical issue, but hopefully we'll figure it out along the way. Um, aside from that, we still do have the Michelin Pilot Sport 4 S's here, which we'll be putting on once we get this back at 100%. <laughs> so these guys are just sitting for a little bit, but I just wanna keep you guys informed in that. Uh, we're gonna get ready, head over to Anthony's, and attempt to wrap the Type R I will let you guys know in advance that I cannot reveal the color. We are not revealing the color today because of the fact that uh, courtesy of Anthony, I want to make sure, courtesy to Anthony, I want to make sure that he has the opportunity to reveal that um, on his page, on here, on Instagram, and then uh, he actually is, has a YouTube too. So I'll put it right here and then in the description below, but check out his YouTube to get like the update on that once it's fully done. Uh, so when you guys watch it, it will be a little bit in black and white. But you're gonna see our sort of attempt at wrapping. I have no experience wrapping. This is gonna be my first time, so uh, we'll uh, we'll see what today entails. But let's go ahead and get ready. We're gonna still take the SI. We're gonna head over to Anthony's, and we'll see how this. Uh, we'll just see how the day goes. But yeah, I just want to keep you guys informed with that. Top of that, before actually we start today's video, there may or may not be a new project or second car added to the channel. I don't want to spoil anything yet. I'm still in the process of deciding right now and there are a few options and you guys can go ahead and guess in the comment section below but I bet you none of you guys are gonna guess it but it may or may not happen we'll see it's either that or I may just put it on hold save up and get the other option that I want so there's a few things that are gonna go on and happen um, it's either I get another project car, car or I get a basically a, a good daily so that way we can still keep the Civic here uh, take it in the shop work on it there's a lot of plans that I have for the Civic too um, wide bodies, one of them, but <laughs> that's in the future. So, uh, I just want to keep you guys informed and updated on that stuff because, uh, I feel like you guys would love for me to be transparent with you guys and letting you guys know that there's still more to happen to the channel. So just want to keep you guys updated with that. We're going to go ahead and get ready. Let's go ahead and head to Anthony's now. I've said enough. I've said enough. As you guys can already see, we have the type R in a, a state that you guys have never seen before. Uh, the rear bumpers here, the wings over there, and I mean, everything's kind of torn apart. Now, the reason being, if you guys remember this Type R, is it had a chalk, was it chalk gray wrap on it, um, and <laughs> it wasn't the best job. It was a terrible job. Oh, okay, my bad. It was a terrible job. <laughs> but, uh, okay, yes, just to inform since we're doing this, there's a company out there named CW Wraps, and I don't like to call out people, but I think this company has definitely been called out plenty of times. Like, okay, I don't want to put bad name on people, but the thing is, he didn't just scam me. He scammed a bunch of people, and I don't want anyone else going through the same thing I did. So, yeah, exactly. better for you guys to know than not. 
It's very true. So if you guys see a company out there that's wrapping cars and the name is CW Wraps, and we'll go ahead and post the IG name right here as well. Uh, it, they don't do the best job. They've actually have destroyed a lot of cars. And like they, like he says, they have scammed people. So uh, there's actually a page out there called CW Wrap Victims. I think I'll post it right here that you guys can check out and see what they do to other cars. And it is actually pretty shocking because there's blade marks all over the place. I think this car, did you find any like blade marks or anything like that? Yeah, there is. Uh, it's inside though. But, uh, okay, no I worries. It's inside because it has the color inside. <laughs> yeah, so we don't want to reveal the color yet. But obviously, like even his own paint job, like there's some marks on there that's definitely pretty brutal. And it is kind of sad to see. But we're going to be basically taking care of what well, we took care of, removing all that and now putting on a new wrap. The color has yet to be revealed. I don't think we're going to reveal it in today's video. I'm going to have Anthony actually reveal that on his page on his YouTube channel. So if you guys want to follow him right here on YouTube, here's the link. And then also on Instagram if you guys want to be up to date too with his build, there's a link as well. And you guys will see the new color there. But the goal today is to wrap the car. We're going to have, uh, we, like we said, we have everything apart. And uh, now it just comes down to cleaning it as he's doing and just getting down to the uh, to business. But let me show you guys the front, because the front actually looks pretty insane. Um, I've never seen, like I said, a Type R in this state, and I'm sure you guys haven't either. But literally, everything is <laughs> on the seats. Inside and out. You Inside and out. Gone. Everything's gone right now. There's the chassis on the splitter, as you guys remember. Well, wouldn't you, mate? And, uh, well, think about yeah, this is definitely right. a different state out in your mind. seeing this than what the Type R is usually in. Baby. But uh, yeah, if you guys ever want to see a bare Type R before, yeah, here you go. <laughs> Ooh, you even took off the door. Yeah, you took off everything, off. man. Everything's off. Sheesh. But yeah, we're going to get down to business doing this. Uh, right now, Alan and actually Charles, they just left to go get a tap because, of course, when you're doing some installs, nothing ever goes right. So uh, they're going to finish off the sway bar install over there, and then we're going to transfer off over here and get this all prepared. Now, I'm sure you guys are asking yourselves, are we professionals when it comes to wrapping? I'm not, but I don't know. <laughs> I have someone of a background doing it. Okay. Yeah. So, he's got some experience. I have no idea what the hell I'm doing. So, uh, wish us luck. <laughs> Everything is now cleaned up. We're actually going to do this in sections. So, we're starting off with the hood. And uh, we just made sure after taking off all the wrap, we used some alcohol. Here you guys go. To make sure that the surface is clean. <laughs> but, check out the new color. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, I'm sorry guys. I have to make it black and white. <laughs> I'm gonna be doing a hentai wrap really soon. <laughs> but dang, oh, yeah. looking at this. It's loud, wow. it's fucking loud. That is good looking, man. And so we're gonna start off with the hood here. Like I said, uh, I don't know what to expect, man. I don't know what to. Come on, Bible. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> we'll see. So what he doesn't know is I'm actually showing you guys the true color. I'm not making a bunch <laughs> <of noise. laughs> so How much do we need? Hold it to the very end of the hood. It's about the very end right there. We're gonna wanna add an extra four inches each side. So let's cut, I don't know, 77 inches. 77? Yeah, 77, I think. All right, sounds good. I added a little bit of slack here, so that way we're just- How much slack? Like barely a, a centimeter. Add an inch, add two inches. Add two inches? There, there's two inches of slack. So we'll cut 77? Okay. Oh, that was nice. <laughs> Shit, okay, I'm fucking scared as fuck. <laughs> hey, I uh, thought we got that. I thought you... I know, no, it's just been a while, alright? <laughs> I have no... Like, okay. I have no wrapping experience whatsoever. Right. Hold like, this. At all. Oh, jeez. Hold this, and then also hold this. Okay, you, I gotta put the camera down for this. I gotta put the camera down for this. Hold on. I'm getting nervous, bro. I'm getting nervous. Yeah, I don't Get up. <laughs> Ooh, my hood's that big? <laughs> yeah. Whatever. I'll give him one. 78. Yeah, we need more people. Nah, we're fine, dude. This is fine. Alright, alright. Get it up then. Just playing it. Yeah, I mean, we're not much. I got it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Now we're good. Okay, that's it. That's it. Right. Oh, nice! Yeah. It's that yeah. easy, huh? There you guys go. There's a beautiful color. Look at that. That nice, beautiful mint. Ah, <laughs> uh, I'm just kidding. I, I'm sorry to be such a tease. It's not that I don't want to show you guys. 
Anthony. It's, we gotta save for Anthony until his reveal, guys. Until his reveal. <laughs> Now the question prompts, we finish this today? Yes? Yeah, we can finish this today. What's up? I guess so, I guess yes. Ooh. See you guys don't doubt us, look at that, Look, making mint. Look at that. Mint. So as you guys can see the progress of it, it's actually really good. It looks really nice. So it's pretty much finished, just finishing the fine details here. But uh, it actually doesn't look bad whatsoever. Full service. Oh, Full service garage rap shop. <laughs> <laughs> huh, Anthony raps? <laughs> and, <laughs> and take one. <laughs> take one. Hey, does someone want to YouTube this? <laughs> it, wait, but it just looks like it's self explanatory. You just have to pull it out, right? Hey, chill, wait. <laughs> yeah, yeah, see? There's yeah, a clip, clip yeah, there, yeah, so there's clips in there. But I don't remember how to release them. Oh, fucking yank. Hey. What'd you say again, Charles? Not my car? <laughs> oh, you push it. <laughs> you push it here. And it's, it's no longer on it. See, there's no clip there anymore. Okay, thank you. Yeah. So... Ooh. Did you lock it back in? Oh, there's another one down here somewhere. I remember there was a, there no, was a blue just, type they, they, they look like they're YouTube. super flexible. Sure, sure are you, are you talking about here. this one? Yeah, I was watching it. <laughs> oh, look at that. He's already looking up the hey, YouTube look, video. Look. Can you watch it? <laughs> yeah. See how he takes them off. <laughs> I don't need no video. Was it <laughs> Bro, oh, no. you We just said the same thing. So in the YouTube video, he just yoinked it, and we just did the same thing. I guess we weren't joking. You just got to yoink it. Within the span of time, if you really think about it, it's been about three hours, and we just finished the hood. Being honest here. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be honest. I'm kind of retarded. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. So is the rest of the car gonna be done? Probably tonight when we're all gone. Yes. <laughs> fong after dark. <laughs> fong after dark. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. What? Then mow me a dollar and I'll show you the color. Hey. 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 How you uh, oh. <laughs> this is how you uh, you work on your uh, biceps a little bit. You just get these nice, uh, you know, you curl it about a 90 degree angle, and you hold this for about 15 seconds. After that, you're gonna rotate. So we got 15, 14, 13. Probably hot as fuck. Well, yeah, you have the heat, you know, as a, a measure of uh, resistance. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man, you're supposed to. Oh, my hand. <laughs> <laughs> I did burn for a little bit. You see that power of resistance right there? This shit gets hot as fuck, dude. You know, honestly, you probably shouldn't really. You guys should not try this out. <laughs> oh, fuck, I fucked up. <laughs> oh my gosh. He was about to make it look so good. Alright guys, so we are here in the mini office station, like usual, like we always end the videos. And I just want to say thank you guys for watching, I hope you guys enjoyed the rest of the video. We've sort of failed at wrapping the car, which was to be expected. I don't have any wrapping experience, Anthony has a little bit more than I do, but at the end of the day, both of us combined and the rest that were there uh, weren't professionals, we're not professionals. So, uh, update on that, we did actually give up, we're actually going to send it over to a professional wrap shop to get done. But we actually, well, I don't wanna say we because Anthony took most of the part of it, but uh, he got most of it done actually, or I don't wanna say most, but a good amount done. Uh, the fenders are done. I think both sides of the doors are done too. And the trunk and the front bumper are not, as well as some of the door handle pieces and other things like that. But I think majority of it, or at least a good amount of it, it's done. So when we send it over to the shop to get the rest wrapped it won't take too long so I think from this video it should take like two to three days until this car comes back and it should be hopefully revealed on his page 
Again, if you guys want to check that, Instagram right here and YouTube right here as well. Uh, so check them both out, and hopefully he'll be revealing that. I'm trying to get him into YouTube, so hopefully he starts vlogging. We'll see. But I know that he'll reveal the color for you guys, at least on his Instagram page. So make sure you guys are following that. Uh, the color is definitely super nice. The way I would describe it is it's... Nah, I can't. I, I'd spoil it if I say it like that. But it's a really nice color. Like, I, I actually like the wrap color. And I think that when we wrapped it too, it wasn't a bad job. Like, you guys won't see the uh, really any imperfections. It's a lot better than the last time, for sure, from when he last got his heart wrapped. But... Aside from that, just saying, uh, keeping you guys updated in the loop, like I said, uh, another thing to happen to the channel is a second car. We probably will get another project car for the future, of course. Uh, it's either well, it's either going to be another project car or just a great daily. Not like the daily we had in the beginning, which if you guys remember was the Hyundai Accent. And so that car, I actually gave that to my mother-in-law, and so she has that, she owns that. I don't have that car anymore. It's actually been a year now, I don't think or maybe months now since uh, I don't have that car anymore. So that one I gave to her a long time ago. Uh, but I wanna make sure that this second car that I grab is still something that I will enjoy, that you guys will enjoy to bring on the channel. And that's so exciting, you know? Um, compared to like that car, it definitely wasn't the most craziest thing. And we made a video about that using like Tokyo Drift music. If you guys remember, I'll pop it up right here. But I wanna make sure that this car coming in is definitely something that you guys will enjoy and that you guys can uh, share with me and, and embrace with me and if i don't end up getting it which would probably possibly be this this week i don't know yet but if i don't end up getting it that means that i'm saving up for the car that i do want and that car well unless i get it this week i don't know but that car is like locked on my mind i don't want to reveal the car yet you guys can go ahead and make your guesses but there is a car out there that is, is locked on my mind and i will okay i'll give a hint it's not jdm so you guys are probably going to be surprised by that, but it's definitely super nice. So we'll uh, we'll keep updating you guys along the way. We'll see in the uh, upcoming future what entails. But I definitely want a daily because the Civic sits in the garage. And on top of that, aside from us fixing the minor issue, guys, very minor issue, uh, just that wiring issue or whatever that issue is, um, there are big plans for the Civic still. We are, uh, like I said, possibly going to wide body it. Obviously, new wheels are going to be coming in the future. And, I mean, everything just aesthetically are going to change aside from just hitting 500 and putting in the new fuel system in the future. So, uh, there's things to still look forward on the Civic build. We're not giving up on the Civic build, but I do want to introduce some more to the channel and give you guys more variety and another project. I mean, you guys are following me on this journey, which is great. We're at like 13,000 subscribers as of this time, and we're still growing. We're still going, guys. We're so close to 15, which is crazy, and the next, you know, 20, and then 50, and then 100, and then I get that $100,000, k plaque, and yeah, life is at that point super surreal, and I can't believe but we are still growing with the channel and there's still so much to go forward to and for me to introduce to you guys. So I want to keep you guys in the loop, be more transparent with the channel, and obviously just do more. So that's going to be happening soon. I'll keep you guys again along, up, updated along the way. But I just want to end the video out here saying thank you guys as always. You guys, support is amazing, especially from the last video. Thank you guys with the kind, kind comments and staying back at the very end of the video, hearing me out and everything. I know I went on a little bit of a rant. But um, yeah, so I'll see you guys in the next one, possibly get in the new car this week, we'll see. And uh, as always guys, keep grinding, stay humble, and you guys already know, yeah. All right guys, take care, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.